He's back guys and I'm back. This is Chris. I'm here with another YouTube video. We are coming back with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Warren Williams missed the last two games. We have all kinds of guys coming back. Look at him healthy for this big matchup in the fourth week of the season. Pittsburgh Steelers, we are 3-0 and the Philadelphia Eagles are 2-1-1. I'm excited that Warren is back. I didn't know long, how long he'd be out after missing those last two games. I definitely didn't expect him to get hurt. He got hurt there in the third quarter in the opener against the Chargers. He had 66 yards of three touchdowns. I was feeling good, but then he had that crushing injury. But we are looking forward to getting this win. I'm, I'm kicking this ball up. I always kick it up on, on, I don't know why I always do that though, but yeah, the Eagles are tough. You guys, if you've played this game, you've probably been the Eagles because Randall Cunningham is ridiculous. They might even run it right here. Yep, that shotgun run. With the three receivers to the left, uh, he just takes the handoff and goes. And it's the only quarterback that that runs like this in the game. So I like playing that. With, I think I'm going to just stick with Rod Woodson um, most of the season. Uh, that's what I was doing the first three games. But when I'm up there, I have to be careful. There's, oh, I thought he was going to run it. Oh my goodness, we had all, guys all over there. That was a good catch. So this is going to be tough if, if Cunningham can throw it. Yeah, uh, and and run it. It's gonna be a tough task for our defense. But and, and I think you guys have seen here too. So instead of Cunningham, it goes by QB Eagles, uh, was his name. And other quarterbacks in the game do that too. You know, oh, I gotta get this stop. See, that's why I gotta pick. I just gotta pick that run play. I'm just not very good at getting off blocks when they run right to me. I need to pick those runs up top, uh, either Sherman or or Cunningham. But anyways, yeah, Jim Kelly was another guy. Bernie Kozar, they, they both put QB Bills and uh, QB Browns there. So uh, definitely interesting that they didn't have the names in the game. Obviously, um, with the NFLPA, you know, just dealing with that. But there, that's how we picked the play. That's what we need. We need to get this stop to, to get off on a good start. Um, I, I like how things have gone so far these first three games with our offense. We need an interception. No, that's okay. I like how the offense has performed. Um, it's not a great offense, but it's been good enough. And like I said, we are 3-0. Warren Williams, I'll get this block here. Yes, I like that. Greg Lloyd, those are fun. Those could be game changers, especially on extra points. Uh, it could certainly change the, the, the whole game. So that's a good start for our defense. But yeah, let's get Warren in here. I'm excited he's back. I know it wasn't like a great game in the opener, but I was able to make uh, Oh, I, it's just so hard to run with them. There's just not a lot of openings, uh, whether it's the offensive line or, or maybe I'm just picking different things. But I do feel like I can get some runs going with them here. Yeah, but he did have those three touchdowns in the first game. I was feeling good. I, like I said, 66 yards. Let me shake that. Get the oh, almost a first down. For, I gotta. I want to go for it here. This, this is too risky though from the 35. Get, get it. There we go. I was making making you guys nervous probably for sure, but I just wanted the ball. I'm excited that Warren's back. I'm gambling a little bit. There's a good run. That's what we need. That's about 15, 20 yards. That's a good run. If we get more of those, we are gonna we are gonna get this rushing title. Uh, we're two games. We miss those two games. I see. I gotta pass it sometimes. Oh, that was risky. That could have been interception. But we missed those two games. I, I was looking at the stats, and it's going to take a, about at least a, about 100 yards a game to kind of get that rushing title. So I, I'm behind the eight ball. Man, that was a fast quarter. I am behind the eight ball from missing those two games. Again, only the 66 yards in the opener. Oh, man. I can't take losses. Like, those those negative gains. Let's see, I like this shotgun, this shotgun run here. It just doesn't have enough... What in the world? What? what is going on? This is ridiculous. He only had a few carries. I, after the first game, oh, we just have to make a move and move on. But after the first game, when he got hurt, I, I asked my friend who, who plays this game all the time. And like I said, he competes in tournaments and the whole thing around the country. But I asked him about injuries because I wasn't quite sure. Maybe I was running him too much or doing certain things. But he, he kind of said that injuries are just random. But he's only played two games, not even a full two games. It was third quarter last game. We're, we're barely into the second quarter here. And he goes down with another injury. And it's it's not like the other football games uh, 
current day where guys can get hurt and then they come back in the same game. Like I said before when he got hurt, like he's going to be out this game and I don't know how long he'll be out for. You just kind of have to play each game and uh, just hit start up the next game and see if he comes back. But man, I, last time I, I skipped ahead the last two games, but um, I'm going to go ahead and play this one out because I know there's some there might be some Eagles fans and Cunningham and I need this pick. There we go. I got lucky there. I want to. Oh, I wanted to return it. Woodson's got some speed for sure. He's one of the best corners on the in the game. Uh, so I need. It'd be great to have a, a big season with him. See, my guys are hurt, and that's a good run by Warley. That could have been Warren Williams. Man, I'm going with Warley instead of Hodge. He just has a little more speed. And Hodge has been struggling, so. Uh, and I'm going with Strom here at quarterback. Is this too risky? Oh man, if he could have just jumped up and caught it right on, right before the the end zone there, I could have had a touchdown. I need to get, man, this is just, I know, yeah, I knew it's risky. There's not a throwaway button and just, I had to throw it somewhere. Man, 3-0, this, this game's gone fast so far. Is this another run up top? See, that's, you know the plays once you memorize the other teams plays yeah I had to go for it right there before because once he gets going he can certainly score from anywhere there we go that's a good play third and 12 just before half maybe we can get a touchdown right before halftime I'd feel good about that but I don't feel good about Warren going down um, I was trying to give you guys plenty to talk about with him but um, and see if I could, like I said last last video, he's the 38th best running back in the game, so he doesn't have great ratings, but I thought I could do it because I had that big preseason game. Um, I don't know if we can win a rushing title. It was going to be tough to begin the season. Now I've missed two games already. He's missing half of this one. Who knows how long he's going to be out, but I, I, I just have to go. I, I got to get wins with the Steelers and just maybe, you know, maybe he'll come back. Maybe he won't, but I just have to keep getting wins and, and we'll just go from there and then maybe just uh, just try to get have the best season I can with them but man this is tough two games two injuries I can't believe it but yeah just kind of talking about Warren Williams you know he was a I need to block this again with Lloyd oh is he gonna miss it yep missed I needed that Dang, only nine seconds left Brister's got a bigger arm so I'm gonna see if I can throw it deep I like Strom though. I I, I like Strom better. He's just more accurate. But I need this big pass. Oh man, he's on me. You guys are... Oh, that's way out of bounds. Yeah, the accuracy is just tough. But yeah, with the with the Hurricanes, I, I know you guys maybe, I know you remember him, but uh, maybe didn't realize he was on this game. But Jerome Brown is a is really good on, for the Eagles uh, on this game. I'm making I like I like kick returns it's tough I, I wish I had I wish they had a little bit faster but kick returns are fun oh man pick my play but yeah Warren led the team in, in rushing at Miami um, in 85 and 87 so sophomore and senior years just kind of interesting um, and then there's freshman and junior years Alonzo Highsmith led the team in rushing um, so they played together and then Alonzo was a third pick in, in the draft and uh, you know, and, and then Warren, you know, um, he ended up being a sixth round pick. But Melvin Broughton was on those teams as well. And um, I thought it was interesting. I, I just didn't realize but um, that, that Melvin never led the team in rushing during his career um, because of a guy like Warren Williams. Um, and, and Warren had a good, I went back through the game log. This is crazy. I, I know I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible. But I went back through his 1987 champ when they won the championship. So I dug up his game log to see the stats and, you know, back then, you know, it's not like with the internet now where you can just pull up box scores, no problem. So I would, the University of Miami, uh, the sports media relations department has uploaded um, PDFs of all these old games, uh, taking pictures of the stats that were handwritten, um, the post game stats. So I went back through the 87 season. I wrote down every game for Warren Williams and from that season it was just pretty interesting to you know he was getting the most carries he led the team in rushing you know not just for the season but nearly every game um you know the second game the first game of the year they played florida they had that big win that 31 to 4 win 
Uh, you don't see a team of four points very often at all in any level of football. But then he bounces back right after that against Arkansas and goes for 108 yards and two touchdowns. He had a 49-yard touchdown run. He also had five catches, so he was kind of doing it all. And I'm sure that game really, everyone knew about him before because, you know, he had played three seasons, productive. But that game had to have been a bit big one for his uh, just his mentality and everyone realizing how good of a player he was. Um, and then they go to Florida State. They win by one. He led the team in rushing again. And then, you know, they get the easy one against Maryland. And then it goes against Cincinnati again, 101 rushing yards. And this guy is on a roll. Two 100-yard games in his first five games of the season. You know, he was looking strong for sure. Um, and then in high school, you know, went to North Fort Myers and had his jersey number 44 retired. There's about 10 guys um, that have had their jersey number retired, so there's a good touchdown by Hodge. I like that up the middle run. I needed that. I need to stretch this out. But, you know, he played with Deion Sanders. You know, Javon Kirst went to the school. You know, I, some of you guys might remember Noel Devine. Uh, he was there, had his number retired. You know, so they've had some big-time guys, and, um, and and Warren's one of them. He was a electric player there in high school. So, and, uh, yeah, he just had that, that big season. But after those first five games, he that was his only 100-yard um, games after that. You know, he didn't, I mean, he didn't have any other 100-yard games the rest of the season, but Miami won all the rest of their games. They beat Oklahoma. Um, and won the national title and he had 41 yards rushing that game grinded it out 19 carries so he's certainly a grinded out guy and and he had 30 catches you know out of the backfield was pretty big for a guy um, you know only 12 games one thing I find interesting you know kind of just a reminder you know you remember it but when I was going back through the stats uh, you know but back then you know bowl game stats didn't count on their official statistics which you know it's now they do and it's I, one thing I find interesting and I know it would take a lot of work is keep buyers going down with the injury just heartbreaking for Eagles Nation right there but one thing I find interesting is they don't go back and you know add in the bowl game stats um, to individual player stats I know that would take a lot of work I, I know it would change record books and the whole thing um, but I, I I always thought that you know well why not just add them back in now you know they if they made it moving forward um, why not go back and, and add it in? And uh, again, that's just obviously it's not a huge deal, and, and no one's leading the charge on that. It's just uh, something I thought was interesting um, over the years of just kind of doing it. But um, it is what it is. But yeah, those extra games certainly help with records for sure. Um, and it didn't make a huge difference. You know, one thing with just with Warren, you know, he, he was officially credited with 673 yards, and then they had the three rushing. And then they had the 309 receiving, so he went over a thousand yards total. Um, but it, you know, with that bowl game stat, he would have been over 700 yards rushing. So just a little, um, not not that again, not that it matters too much. But I do find it interesting when it comes to like single season or even career uh, records at schools. Um, you know, the guys nowadays get their bowl games counted, and and even now with the playoffs, you could maybe have, or even the the conference championship games, you have a couple games or two or three games. Um, to pad your stats so um, yeah it's just a just an interesting how things work and and stuff that was a bad play dang that was a bad tackle I was I was gamble and I thought I had the right line on him and dove and missed I definitely did not need that touchdown right there 10 to 6 they'll make I can block this though no oh he did get it I thought I was late I thought I took a bad angle and was a little late that's big those onside kicks yeah and those onside kicks can be tricky you, you can do them and then guys can return them once they get the outside edge and it, it's so frustrating we were trying to do that that's a good run break oh thought he could break it one more time Warley's impressing me I know I want to see Warren in there and I know you guys do too but Warley's doing well right now I like this shotgun play I might switch it oh I know that there's a sweep play uh, that, that you can take the place, but I like that shotgun run, but I might switch it up later on in the season, but we'll just have to see. I just like this run. Okay, let's get in here. Oh, one more. There we go. Man, I'm, I'm happy for Tim Morley. 
bouncing back from injury, but man, I wish that was Warren Williams. I They're about similar attributes, so I feel like I, if I could do it with Tim, I could do it with Warren, but man, it's just heartbreaking. He's going down with these injuries. I don't know what to do, but we're going to keep the season going. Uh, you guys will just have to continue to show your support. Um, and I should have sh sh said it earlier, but um, obviously like uh, like the video if, you, if you're a fan of this episode and we'll keep them going and subscribe to the channel. We've got some exciting things going. Going to keep series going. Um, got new ones coming out and all kinds of stuff. Okay. It wouldn't have mattered, but I'd like to keep it at six points. That's really good performance by the defense. Like I said, Cunningham is really good. Get another pick? Nope. So we got that win, but I'm going to jump right into the next week. I want to see if Warren's coming back. Let's keep this going. Look at the stats here. We're strong. But... Oh, he's back. I like that. I wanted to keep it going. That was a quick one. So that was just a little minor injury, I guess. Maybe just a little ankle sprain or something. And now he's going against the Colts. This is great, guys. The Colts are not very good in the game. Warren is healthy, at least for now. He's only played two games, and he keeps getting hurt. <laughs> He's gotten hurt in both games, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it is what it is. We had that bye week, so we're, we're doing good. We're 4-0. We're I like this here. Yeah, come on. There we go. Stop him at the 10. So Albert Bentley, former Hurricane. See, that was another guy. Remember, I did the, the video um, with the six former Miami running backs in this game. And Bentley was one of them, and obviously I picked Warren, but maybe Bentley's a guy, if you guys like these series, I could do in the future. Yeah, we just got, let's just put a, our defense just needs to come out. I know I'm not picking the nose tackle that could get me a lot of stuff, or even the outside backer that you could blitz almost every time. But I just need to come out with a good defensive game. Like I had last game, only six points, but we need a, we need a really good game here. We got Warren back, we need to stop Albert Bentley. Him and Warren can shake hands after the game, but right now, right now it's about the Steelers. And we're going to get Warren Williams back in action. This is his third game of the year. We are 4 0. Let's get this punt return, maybe. Not too much, not too much. So, yeah, Bentley left um, Miami. Uh, he was there four years, but he, he left in 80, 83, was his last season. And then Warren came in 84. So they didn't play together, but. Um, Actually, I take that back. I am wrong. Warren actually redshirted on that 83 championship season. I remember uh, checking in to get confirmation on that um, because I had heard he did, and then I wasn't quite sure. But, yeah, he was on the 83 team. So um, he was at Miami five seasons. That's a good run by Warren right out of the break. Looking healthy. We need to have a big game. I want to go for, like, definitely 100 yards. We definitely need a 100-yard game for him. We need to – I don't know if we're going to get in that – that rushing title race but I just want to have a really good game and either way we need to get wins yeah this is good oh I gambled a little bit but I had the first down so I wanted to see if I could shake something loose there either going up with a spin move or on these diagonal runs and I'm trying to mix in the passing oh that's terrible Eric Green fumbling oh fumbles are tough I hope I don't fumble it like I did against Buffalo I, I lost three fumbles had three interceptions, so I had six turnovers in the second game of the season. Oh, this play. We need to eat that up. They do a reverse or a fake reverse, but we got to eat it up either way. But, yeah, I had six turnovers that second game, just, just not playing well. And I don't know how we even uh, pulled it out, but we, we got that overtime win against the Bills, who I think are the best in the game. But certainly there's other good ones. You know, I took that. Uh, get that there. But yeah, we need to keep these wins going. I know, and we gotta get play well against the Colts. Pad some stats. We'll just keep it moving for sure. Let's let's get a good return here. Ooh, make a miss, make a miss. Oh, just not not quite enough. And they had like eight defenders, so we need to get loose with Warren now. He's in the game. Oh, there we go. Let's go up top. Get through there. Ah, oh, just couldn't get through that hole. There's a little hold, but we just can't get through it. Shotgun draw. Man, looking really slow on that run. I'm worried. This is not, I just, I, I want to break something off here. Did he 
get it. There we go. I need those first downs. Just keep it moving. Man. Does nothing there. Now they pick my play. Man, this is a slow start. This is not the start that I wanted. Man, I can't. I have no speed to get to the line of scrimmage. Man, that is rough. That was a bad possession. This is not the start we were looking for. I thought I would come out here and have a huge game against these guys. They're not very good. Our defense is holding it down for sure, like they should always. Got some good guys. I know you saw Nickerson get that, that sack there. Rod Woodson, Greg Lloyd. They've got some really good defensive players. So uh, Carnell Lake's back there. So yeah. There's Lloyd. I got. I'm gonna see if I can finish this off. I need to see if I can get just get the ball back and maybe I'll even get a safety here. Let's pick the play hopefully here. Oh, I need to finish. The, dang, when they're running around. Oh, now we can't catch up. Yeah, you can't switch players on defense in this game. So whoever you pick, that's what it is. But when they're running around back there in the end zone, it's so demoralizing when they. I should have read that. That's a bad run right there, though. But I should have read that it was a draw for Bentley. But, yeah, when they're running around back there and they get positive yards, that, that's hard to take. We always want to be stopping their guys. This isn't going to work. I can finish this. Yeah, he's too slow. There wasn't – and the thing is, sometimes when you get tied up there, they bring a blocker in there, and then he knocks you off the ball, so it becomes really difficult. Yeah, Jeff George. Jeff George there. He's a big time draft prospect coming out. Had the big arm strength. But Dwight Stone, we need that. Let's see if we can get a punt return here. Man, that was a man right at the one. Oh, there we go. Miss. Oh, we gotta shake him. Get him. Go, go. Man, that's good though. One, probably like the 16 or so. Man, that's one where you just wish you could get out of the way. All right, let's go. Big run. Man, even when there's an opening, he just doesn't have that speed right now. With that acceleration to, to bust one loose. Pass over the move. Don't fumble it this time. There we go. We got time still. 30 seconds. We got time. We could throw it, throw it deep. Well, oh, man. That was not good. We need to get that going. We need to get the run game going. We need to make some halftime adjustments. Let's see if we can get a touchdown here. I don't think it's going to work, though. Yeah, they're just... Their defense is... Oh, Wardy going down. Man, I've had all kinds of injuries. Felt like everybody's gotten hurt already this year. Warley and Stone and Bell. Obviously with Williams. So, man, it's been rough for my running backs. We've got to stay healthy. I don't, I don't want to like risk it, you know, jinx it or anything, but I'm glad that he's back for the second, Warren's back for the second half, but man, he's just not, I can't get him going. I like this kick return, make a miss. Oh, if we could have got that, there we go. I think I got this one. Uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, there's too many guys. Dang, that was tough. That's good though. Anything to get the offense going. That was a huge kickoff return. We needed that out right out of the half here. We need to keep this going though. Ah, oh, Warren, man, if I can get him in, the, I'm thinking if I can get him into the end zone, maybe I can. Oh, pick my play because I'm always picking run. But yeah, I need to get him going. Just get some confidence. That should be a touchdown. Yep. There we go. Hey, we we grind in this game for sure. I, I, don't, I know I had high hopes of a blowout against the Colts, so we're, we're just going to keep this thing going. Got a touchdown. Let's just have a strong second half. Get these wins, get these yards, get these touchdowns. Stay healthy. We don't want to see him running out of the hospital any time the rest of the season. That graphic still cracks me up seeing that and the, the music. But you hyped every time it happens because you get your player back and you, there's that little like when it when you click start there's that little pause to see if it's gonna if he's coming back or not but yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to see if what you guys remember about this game or, or like what teams you like to play with did you play with your favorite team or did you like going 
with like a, a really good team or, or who would you like to play with when you're on playing this game and I remember like I said before you know I, I was okay at it um, growing up but man my, my friend that I always played with he was really good with the Giants and I I would even if I took the Niners or the Bills like teams that are better offensively but I, I swear I mean maybe I'd beat him but not not very often at all and it just felt like he always he'd always beat me but yeah there was a good pick I got lucky on that but our defense that yeah, Woodruff there our defense is coming up strong he had that big first game we're gonna we are gonna get this thing going man there's no room man I cannot run but yeah there's different teams that are good anyone anyone that picks the Bears like they're super tough and then the offense with the Niners and the, the Bills, when you play against those teams, I mean, those those teams are good on both sides. But, man, some of these teams, like, or, or if there's, like, a, a team, a sleeper that that you kind of like that, they're, that maybe people overlook, I'm always interested in hearing about those teams, too. Like, maybe they're not quite as bad as you think. So, and I know for tournaments, they have interesting, interesting strategies. Man, they're always picking my plays. Man, this is frustrating. We only got seven points. We're in the late in the third quarter. I can't get anything going. It's tough when you did we get that. No, it's tough when you play teams like this. It, just because you think you can put up a whole bunch of points, have a monster game, and then you start getting a little out of whack, and and then just I don't know. I guess I should probably kick a field goal, but man, I don't know. I want to. I probably, well, I don't know. We're right here. We're, we're going. We're going. We're going. There we go. He's open. Yo. Get there. There we go. It wasn't a rush, but it was a huge gain by Warren Williams. 7-0 at the end of the third, but we got the first down. I was gambling a little bit, but we need to get this going. Oh, I, maybe I should have stayed down, but man. I just don't feel like there's any room at all. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my goodness. Right when I say it's a good run, this man goes down again. Oh, this is rough, man. He's played three games. He's gotten hurt every single game. I don't know what's going on. He was grinding it out. Had a good run. About to get into the end zone again. Wasn't a huge performance, but the best thing... The best thing is he can just do is be out there, and now he keeps getting hurt. Man, this is this is crushing. This is not what I wanted at all. I don't know what's going on here. I've never seen a season like this. Three games, three injuries, unable to finish it. He's already missed two games this season. We're still winning. I should still win this game. There's another good run by Hodge. So we're gonna punch it in with another running back. That should be Warren Williams. Man keeps going down with that injury. He just came back right before the game, but man, just always getting hurt. Man, this is rough. We're gonna get this win though, and then we're just gonna regroup and see what's going on. See what's going on with the medical staff. I know Warren's trying to be out there, but he's dealing with injuries each and every week. This is not the dream season that I would have hoped for him. And you know what's interesting too about him? I, when I was reading about him, he actually, uh, one of his coaches said a turf toe um, kind of plagued him in his career, which slowed him down a little bit. So maybe that's what he's dealing with here. Got a little turf toe injury. Oh, I need to get, I need to finish this. Get the, uh, oh man, that's all right. We need to stop these guys. Uh, but yeah, Warren was uh, the rookie of the year, his first year with the Steelers, and then just unable to really, uh, have a productive career but he stayed in the league six years he actually played for the Colts so he was with the Steelers for five years then he played for the Colts for a year oh that's a safety yeah Hardy Nickerson I got a funny Hardy Nickerson story so I was at um, a camp with the high school recruits and Nickerson was one of the coaches I, I for some reason I think it was the one in Georgia that I went to years ago but regardless he was a, a assistant he was one of the coaches the guest coaches and he was there and he heard this uh, another coach they were changing drills um, so they were telling him to switch it up every all the players go to another drill that kind of thing and so another coach wanted them to run or whatever and th that coach said come on guys we got to run 
if you ain't first, you're last. And so, like, I paused because the movie came out with Talladega Nights where Ricky Bobby says that. It's a funny joke in the movie. And then uh, Hardy Nickerson heard it, too. And we both kind of paused. And for some reason, we're like, we looked at each other and he looked at me. And he was like, man, and we both kind of like shook our head. He's like, that's from a movie. That's not like a motivational thing. You know, like we both thought it was funny that this coach was like using it as a real motivator. Um, you know, if you ain't first or last, you know, that kind of thing. But he was being serious and we're just kind of laughing about it. But yeah, I remember that about Hardy. But, but yeah, yeah, good times. It, that's one thing that's interesting about um, even over the years of going to different high school things. There's a lot of um, NFL guys that either help out either at all-star games or or camps or um, seven on seven events, you know, uh, I remember seeing Cam Newton, he's been in the news lately, you know, just um, seeing him there, you know, just there's a lot of guys that you just kind of see or, or sometimes it's, um, they go to, to help out the communities that they either came from. So they're working out with guys that are coming up, you know, so um, it's kind of cool just to see guys either who are still playing or, or retired, um, you know, staying in the game, you know, just that, that love of the game and always wanted to be around it so it's it's pretty neat and I, it's got to be really cool for for high school age kids to, to see that just um, be around it and, and as such you know you think back when you were younger you know like what that would have been like um, being around um, pr pros like that if you if you weren't around it I certainly wasn't so I'm sure it's really cool so man we're we're getting this win we're gonna go for this shutout I'm gonna see if I can get one more touchdown 23 points not enough how they pick my play? We still got time here. Four seconds. All right. Four seconds. Where are we at? The 45. All right. oh, I think I got Lewis. Yep. Did he just got the arm. Oh, there we go. I will take that. I will take that for sure. That's a good. That's a good second half for sure. It, Warren goes down with the injury, but we get this blowout win. Defense gets that shut out. So that all, all is well here for Pittsburgh. We're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Look at that. It was scoreless at halftime. We had 23 in the fourth quarter. Warren Williams, man, 43 yards, 19 carries. That's not the stats we were looking for. But worst stat was he got hurt. Who we got up next? Let's finish this week off. I see it right there. Week 7, the Giants. The Giants are tough. Man, they're good. I already beat the Bills. But the Giants are, are tough. They're a different animal. Tim Worley's back. Let's see if Warren Williams is back again. Oh, Richard Bell is back. Running back's getting healthy. All right. Oh, so they switched the Giants. And Maggot, he's really good in this game. Yeah. I hate to tell you, but Warren Williams is not back for this big game. This monster game. He missed the Bills game, and now he's missing the Giants game. So I'm skipping ahead here. And this was rough. I was down 26-0 at one point. Lose 43-21. First loss of the year. They are really good. Like I said, I was down big. Tried to make it respectable, but just came up short. Defense was a mess. Offense struggled. But thanks again for all your support, everyone. We'll come back. Hopefully Warren Williams is back for the next week. We'll figure it out. But follow me on Twitter, at InsideTheU. And thanks for watching.